everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today what I'm gonna do is a comparison of some sort of fashion dolls here, uh, fashion ball jointed dolls, and I've also brought an Ella one along just for the comparison purposes because I know a lot of us doll collectors aren't strictly limited to just BJDs. A lot of us have some Ella one dolls and some other dolls. So the first doll that I have here, this is the Doll Essence Laura doll that I just received this week. And then next I have a Mini Fee Chloe. Next I have an Atelier Mamoni, Mamoni doll in Coco. Then I have a Pigeon doll. And then of course we have Elowen. So you can see all the dolls are roughly the same height. They're around 16 inches each, but they are all various sizes. So the first thing I wanna talk about are the wig sizes. Now for Laura, the Doll Essence doll, she's gonna be a 5'6 wig, that's what she's wearing. Chloe has a 6'7", 7'8", she's wearing a 7'8 right now, she, a 6'7 really fits her better, but she can pull off a 7'8". We've got Mamoni here, who's in a 6'7". Then next we have Pigeon, who's also in a 6'7". And then Elwyn, I believe, is also a 6'7", although this Elwyn is rooted and I have not ever changed her wig, but I believe the wigged out Elwyns are about a 6'7 wig size. You can see that the head sizes of these three or four, excuse me, are roughly the same, Mamoni being the smaller of the four. And then you have Laura here, being obviously much smaller head and face size than the other four dolls. So let's have a look now at their bodies. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undress them all and then we'll have a look at their bodies. Okay, that was a bit of an ordeal, but now we've got everybody nude, so you can kind of see some of the differences in their bodies. Now, you can see for sure that this Doll Essence doll is just slightly shorter than the Mini Fee, but all around she's much smaller. She's got a smaller bust, she's got a slimmer waist, she's thinner throughout and she's got small feet. So the foot size, even Yo SD shoes are a little bit too big for her. I've been playing around with some of my wardrobe. So her feet are really, really small and her hands are small too. Mini Fee, of course, everybody knows the Mini Fee size and you can see, you know, she's got the bigger bust, thicker legs, bigger feet here. Mamoni also has a bigger bust, but she's got these really wide, exaggerated hips that I love on the Mamoni dolls. I think that is so, so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I just really like the aesthetic of it. It's a great aesthetic, and she looks really cute in all of her clothes, and I just really like her shape. Then you've got Pigeon. Pigeon's got sort of a smaller bust, and then She's not got the really defined sort of like abs almost. The Doll Essence doll has these sort of abs and Mini Fee kind of has that same thing. Abs isn't really the right word, but there's more definition here. Pigeon doesn't really have that. She's got more of a little, little just cute little belly. And then of course, Elowen being, you know, plastic, she's just, uh, she is what she is. She's not very defined here in this area. So if you look at the definition of all of them, I think that the best definition, I really like the definition of the Doll Essence doll. I really like the definition on the Mamoni doll because there's some sculpting here and this doll wasn't made to be like a ripped doll, but there is some 
a dip here sort of like on the doll lessons doll and to a lesser degree on the mini fee doll that you can see there was some thought given to the way that that part of the body was sculpted. Now they all have a chest joint. You can see from L1 all the way across, we've got a joint right underneath the chest. On the doll essence doll and the pigeon doll, they both have a little bit of space between their breasts and their actual stomach here. So then the Mamoni doll and the mini fee, they go straight from their breasts to their stomach. So you, you see, can you see what I'm talking about here? You've got this area and then this area uh, where here you go straight into the to the bottom. I don't know if that really makes a difference or not. If it's if it's for better fit or if it makes the fit you know different. These these two do have smaller chests though, so that could have something to do with it. And then again with the head size, like we said, out of all of these, Elowen, you can look, Elowen and Mini Fee have pretty much the same head size. They've got the biggest head. And then you've got Mamoni and Pigeon with, Mamoni's a little bit smaller and Pigeon's, you know, smaller than the Mini Fee, but, and then you've got the Doll Essence with the very small head. So let's take a look at the feet now, all the feet. We talked about the doll essence feet and the mini fee feet. And then the Mamoni doll has smaller feet than the mini fee. But what you can see is it's easier for Mamoni. Mamoni can kind of go between an MSD and a USD shoe. I've had her in both. Same thing with Pigeon. If you look at Pigeon's foot, Pigeon and Mamoni have almost the same size foot. Pigeon's foot's a little slimmer, but it's a smaller foot overall. I'm just gonna snap this one off since it's so easy to pull off. It's a smaller foot overall than the mini fee foot, which is, excuse me, which is, you know, wider too altogether. So, and then Elowen of course has the sculpted high heeled foot. So you really can't do much with that, but other than the high heeled shoes. So let's talk about knee joints and I'm going to stand them up here beside me to do the knee joints. So we're going to start with doll essence and let's do L1. Let's just go from outside to in. So L1 obviously, you know, her joints are, they're not ball joints. She's just a jointed vinyl doll. So you can move them, but she has a limited range of motion. It's just back and forth on those legs. So I'm gonna set her here. Now we've got doll essence. She's got the bottom of her knees jointed and the top of her knees jointed. So you can kind of do this whole, you know, stretching her legs sort of bit if you want. Curl her legs up underneath her. And the joints on her are a little more rectangular. So you can see the knee is sort of this rectangular piece here that bends at the top and bottom. Now let's look at Pigeon. I'm gonna set her here. Let's see if she'll, oh, I've got a stand. Let's set her on this stand for a moment while we talk about Pigeon. So Pigeon's joints, Pigeon's got one joint. Pigeon is not double jointed at the knees. So she just has the boom, one joint that bends and that's the end of that story. So if you really have to have a double jointed doll, Pigeon's pretty much almost like Ella when you've got your back and forth and that's it. But her feet are changeable. She has, these are not magnetic, but they're also high heeled feet you can buy for Pigeon. And her elbows do have, they, you can bend them at the, I guess the upper arm and the lower arm here. And her hands are magnetic. So I always like that. And Pigeon's got a cute little bum on her. If you look at her from the side, her profile, she's got this really curvy bum. So if you look at P Pigeon, don't bend over, girl, compared to um, Laura here, she, Pigeon's much curvier. She's got that big caboose going on. I'm grabbing, I've got another doll stand here. I'm gonna 
set pigeon on it while we look at the next two. So that's a little small for her. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe not. Maybe not. Just set this to the side. I'll set her here with her for now. Okay, so there's pigeon. Now we've got Mamoni. The Mamoni knees are the best. Mamoni's the best jointed doll I've ever owned. I think anybody that you talk to that has a Mamoni will tell you they have the absolute most fantastic joints. So you can see the joint is, it's knee shaped and it wraps around and you can see in the back you got your two joints there. And so she can do all kinds of, she can bend her legs up and around or you can bend her to the front and do all kind of sweet poses with her. So I really like that. Now her, she also has a, a more full bum than you can see Miss Laura. And she's similar to Pigeon. But now when you stand them up front to back, Pigeon actually looks a good bit taller than Mamoni. So they're flat footed right now. And you can see Pigeon's, Pigeon's a good bit taller. On the table, they look about the same, but standing up, they're about, she's a little taller. So then let's look at Mini Fee. Mini Fee is also a good bit taller than Amoni, kind of the same as Pigeon. And she's got the more, she's not as curvy as Pigeon or Mamoni. You can see she's got a flatter rear end, but she's curvy on the front side. So she's not as full in the hips and bum. She's more full in the chest. I'm going to set Mamoni to the side for the moment. And one thing you notice about Mini Fee is, you know, I can see all the sanding marks on her. If I bend her over, you can kind of see sanding marks there. And that's something you don't see with the artist dolls because they don't, they take better care, I think. But Mini Fee has the joint at the elbow and then her knees have this single joint as well that just go back and forth so she can do this weird you can pull them out a little further but that's it for her so overall the the best posability you get you get the best posability mamoni's the most posable doll there is oh yikes i'm glad that was the back of her head not the front Mamoni has the most posability and flexibility with Laura here being a close second. So you can tell that the artists really worked on the aesthetics of the joints and the engineering of the joints because making these joints is an engineering process. You have to see how they bend, how they flex, how they look with your doll. Um, to see if it's really gonna work and plus, you know, they're gonna be wearing clothing and you know, is it gonna be unnatural? What sorts of things can you do? So these two are the most posable. They have the best posing ability, in my opinion. Of course, Mini Fee and Pigeon being close to Mini Fee size, you can find the most clothes for them on Etsy or wherever you're looking because they're a really standard sort of size. Now, Mamoni can wear some mini fee stuff. A lot of it's kind of loose, but she can wear some of it. And uh, Laura can't, you can kind of fudge it a little bit and put a pin in the back or whatever, but the mini fee is way bigger than Laura. So the fit is really not going to, to work between the two of them. But I have played around with, because I mostly all I have are mini fee clothes, so I've played around with some mini fee clothes on her and used some safety pins to pin them in the back. So, you know, I've kind of, you may have noticed the trend on my channel lately, I've kind of gotten more into some of these fashion dolls and the fashion ball jointed dolls, and I, I'm really, you know, really starting to look at how the dolls are shaped and how the joints work. But I'm honestly, all of these dolls has a great quality. So whether they're double jointed or not, there's different aesthetics about each of the dolls that I like. The Mamoni aesthetic, I love that she's a smiling doll. And also her jointing is incredible. And like I said, I love her wide hips. 
Laura has the most beautiful face and I love her slender body. She's just, she's like a model, like a real fashion model. Chloe, I like her because she's got that sweet face and she's got that sort of exaggerated bust and you know, she's just fun. I just like her because she's fun and there's so many different things you can do with mini fees and you see what other people do. And you can get great ideas. I really like Pigeon because I like also her face. I think she has a great aesthetic to her face. She's so unique in insofar as the way her face looks and I love the way the artist does the face ups on her. And of course, Elowen. You know, if you like dolls, you gotta like Elowen. What's not to love about her? So, I hope you've enjoyed this comparison video. I thought about preparing ahead of time for this and I didn't. I decided I'm just gonna sit down and see how it goes and kind of come up with these things off the top of my head. So you can see my, what you just saw was my real reaction to the comparison of these dolls. That's how I feel about the comparison. Um, but if you have any questions, like if I missed anything or, or you want to know or you need me to do another video of maybe two of these together more in depth, I'll be happy to do so. Just leave me a comment below and let me know what you'd like to see. So thank you very much as always for watching.